guys. Welcome in the kitchen. We're going to teach you how to live green Tennessee or eat green. If it's about eating, I'm all about it. Matt Henson here from Maddox Station. What are you going to teach us how to make? Well, we're going to make a apple and sweet potato bisque. All right, sounds good to me. Where do we start? How do we get started here? All right. Oh, hey, there we go. It's a good start right there. Get and the two men going. in the kitchen. You guys should be afraid. See, men can do this, right, Matt? Absolutely. All right, very good. Where do we go? Well, we're going to start with the bacon. Oh, we I love to, bacon. Are you kidding me? Is this me? Do I get to use this? Yeah, just chop it in thirds. And All right, very good. We're going to start rendering the bacon down. So how long has Maddox been open? Well, we opened in May of last year, so a little over a year. Very good. Pretty excited. This is me and my wife's favorite restaurant. I won't lie to you. We love it. All right, what do we do now? I've got it checked. Well, now get some of that oil. All right. That, What's this called? That looks interesting. This is an, uh, it's an olive oil blend because it has a, a higher smoke point. But you, we do want to get that olive oil flavor in there, so we do a blended Absolutely. oil just so it doesn't smoke up too much. Just put a little bit in there to, All right. to wake up the bacon. Just Very put that good. in there. You know, we're going into fall and, right. and uh, sweet potatoes, and, and you can do this same recipe with sweet potatoes, butternut squash, even pumpkin. And the apples just add a little bit of a little bit more sweetness to it. And, and not just any apple though, because we're talking live green Tennessee. Yeah, these, these are Tennessee are, products, right? Right. This particular yeah. apple is called an Ozark apple. An Ozark and, apple. Yeah. Where's it found at? My neighbor's Where? tree. I got it. No, I'm just kidding. Well, we'll I got it from Malco Produce. And I talked to the guy today right. and he said he these came from Harriman, Tennessee. Very good. So, yeah, it it smells good. good. I love yeah. bacon. While this is uh, rendering down and you want to let, let the bacon get kind of Crispy. Sure. Why don't we go ahead and put our sweet, sweet potatoes, potatoes and you? apples in? Because this will take about 45 minutes to I got you. to cook. So we want to just and just throw them on a sheet pan. Very simple. Bake them like that. Okay. So we're just gonna stick them in the oven yeah, back here. Like, I'll be your assistant. It's okay, okay Matt. Keep rolling. Like uh, 350 for 45 minutes to an hour. And you can just get a toothpick and continually poke it until it. And so you just stick them in just like that. Yeah. No preparation. No. Okay. Very good. You're done. All the flavors are here. All right. So. Very good. Well, let's get back to the flavors. Grab then. an onion. All right. Now just quarter it and throw it right in here. And when you say quarter it, I'm sorry. Just to, you know, in fourths. In fourths. I got you. Okay. I didn't realize math was going to be involved, Matt. Come on. Can you tell I do a lot of cooking at home? Yeah. Would that you was like? Great. Would you like some oatmeal toast? No, you can just throw it in because, you know the. Oh yes. The knife skills aren't going to come in too too important because we're just going to puree this up. And All right, very good. We got our bacon's. We got our onions. Now grab. This is looking good. Grab those garlic cloves. Mm, I just want to smell. Is what I want to smell. All right, garlic cloves. Yeah. Now these have already been peeled. All right. Um, and what we're going to do is just cut these little. The end of garlic has the little root end. Okay. We just want to cut that. Just, just very good. Very easily, just cut that off. Back to the knife here. You know, my wife doesn't trust me with a knife at home. You married? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, you got kids? I have two girls. Oh my goodness! I've about got one. About to be two and about to be four. Really? See, I got a three-year-old. They're all right there together. They can get together, and you can. Uh, your kids can teach my kids how to cook. That would be great. Well, I know at my house the kid comes, jumps up it. on the on the counter, and it's uh, cooking together. Her and uh, uh, my wife do it mm -hmm. together, so yeah. it's kind of that kind of concept. Yeah, very good. Yeah. I'm sorry. What do I need to do here? Just throw that garlic in straight oh, like that. We're not even going to chop it. We're just oh gonna... man. I don't just... know if you guys can smell this at home, but wow! Let me put the knife down before I hurt somebody. Yeah, it's, it's hard to it's hard to really go wrong with bacon. <laughs> And see, see the, uh, you know, the bacon, what we have here is, you know, we have sweet potatoes and you got the sweetness from the apple. And, and anytime I come up with a dish, and, and soup is, is kind of interesting, is you can create kind of like the complexity of a whole meal in sure. one dish. So you got the smokiness and the saltiness from the bacon, the sweetness from the, oh. from the apple. And that's really, really basically my philosophy in cooking is, is not so much trying to do something nobody's done before or, sure. or you know make food explode or pile it up <laughs> real high it's just it's just do things real simple and, and just take a, an ingredient for what it is and and try to make the flavors either either complement or contrast each other and just kind of uh, uh, create harmony through that. Food to match the mood at Maddox Station. Yeah. Very good. Well, that's what I love about it because you never know when you go in. It's it's always almost like a exploration in food to, to look at your menu and try something new. Yeah. All right. So we're just letting this. Cook yeah, we're just letting it it, We're just letting it in. You can see it's it's getting the uh, vegetables are getting caramelized and and that's all important with developing the flavors. You right. don't want to just. I mean, you don't want to just throw everything in there and let it boil. Sure. You want to you make sure that the vegetables get caramelized, the bacon gets crisp, everything is 
developing flavors Absolutely. in that way. Now, it's Live Green Tennessee. All of these products made right here in Tennessee, so it's a meal that you can be proud of. Is it healthy? I mean, is this good for feeding my family? Absolutely. Um, aside from the bacon. Um, <laughs> but come on. So we, but we also want it to taste good. So Absolutely. Well, uh, that bacon and if you just join us, Live Green Tennessee, we're making bisque. It's all healthy. It's all made right here in, in Tennessee. Now, as far as the time-wise, if you are a mom or a dad mm -hmm. and you're planning a meal like this, how long would this meal normally take to make? Uh, I think um, from start to finish when you when, you know you get the potatoes started and the sure. apples and you just do this in, in the meantime so I think you're just you're waiting on that stuff right. and what you what you'll see is is now we can start putting the flour in all right and we just probably a tablespoon or two just to kind of enough to soak up the the oil in the bottom of the pan just so it'll be thick and you won't have a, a layer of oil on the top of the pan that that we don't want. I got you. Is there a flour of choice that Maddox just, Station uses? Well, this is this <laughs> whatever's is, on sale. <laughs> this is just all purpose. We use unbleached flour. Sure. Um, I don't know. I just thing where I think you can taste the bleach. Right. That just might be me being weird. <laughs> but well, you know, you're you're well trained in your weirdness, and you're yeah. very good at what you do. If you've ever eaten at Maddox Station, you know that. So we got our flour in here. What yeah, else can we add in? Start adding liquid. If you would, just kind of sneak over there and grab that ah. bottle, special bottle there. My preacher's you're... watching. This is not mine. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. This no. is just a little brandy. Um, Flavoring it up. Traditional bisques will have brandy in it. Bisque. Yeah. You okay, don't have good. to add brandy if you don't want to. <laughs> we'll try not to blow up the DT McCall's <laughs> store here. By the way, a lovely kitchen that they have for us. Did you smell how that that brandy adds another? It does. You know, once the alcohol cooks out, you'll, you'll still be left with that kind of sweet. Very good. Um, sweetness from the brandy. <laughs> All right, so what do we do? We're just going to let it Now simmer? that's cooked out, so you okay. grab that pitcher there with the thing sticking out. Oh, I got you. Very good. You that know, that's has... what we call it at my house, too, Matt. It's nice to know that professionals call it the same thing we okay. do. Thing with the pitcher in it. All right, good. Now this is just water, <laughs> and I'm just going to slowly add the water. Now, how much water do you add to this? Well, to this one, I'll probably add, this is probably like 10 cups. Okay. And then I'll just let that start to simmer. Very good. And now, we'll get the sweet potatoes out of the oven. All right. And we'll start working on that. Sounds good.